Hello, I'm Julius from Team Medichap. Hello, I'm Patricia from Team Medichap. Hello, I'm Felix from Team Medichap. Hello, I'm Cyrus from Team Medichap. Hi, I'm Imelda from Team Medichap. Natural disasters, epidemics, and tight work schedules are some of the reasons that limit early access to healthcare services. And this will lead to 6.3 million deaths every year. Many of those could lose their lives if this problem are not solved, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic in the world. To solve this problem, our team has come with Medichop, a progressive web application based using Node.js, MongoDB, and runs on Azure App Survey. Medichop offers healthcare institutions an opportunity to register their doctors in our system to act as online doctors. Using Google Maps, our system recommends hospitals, pharmacies, and emergency response service providers based on the user's location. We use WebRTC to create a video conferencing service where the user can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with healthcare professional after scheduling an appointment. The patient can also have charged conversations with the health practitioner to enhance communication. Upon diagnosis, the healthcare professional provides prescription to the patient, which is directly sent through email and SMS. Our system also recommends the nearest pharmacies to the user where he or she can acquire the medication from. Our business model consists of charging healthcare institution an annual subscription fee. Our main marketing strategies will, will involve partnering with community health workers and recommend our system to patients. In the future, we are working towards enhancing our video conferencing service for the better user experience creating a mobile application that will platform and enhance the user experience, scaling our platform and providing it as a software as a service to healthcare institutions, and lastly, providing a USSD code that will enable wider reach to areas with internet connectivity issues to ensure that healthcare access reaches as many people as possible. We are developing MediChap with privacy in mind and protecting patients' data in compliance with the relevant regulations. At MediChap, we are focused on ensuring that every person has exceptional healthcare at their fingertips. We thank Microsoft ADC for providing the resources and enabling this collaboration that made it possible for us to come up with this amazing solution. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Ethan Kelvin. And I'm Sandra Cheng, and we are from Team Mizizi. At Mizizi, our key goal is to provide affordable, accessible healthcare to all persons within the country. We intend to focus on the problem from three perspectives. The perspective of accessibility, whereby more often than not, Kenyans are unable to access medical care due to doctors and nurses' strikes. Personal issues whereby many people have commitments, including work, which are preventing them from going to medical care facilities. The cost of care is constantly rising, while most people are still living below the poverty line. Our solution is a progressive web application which provides various services. This include a trivia section for testing our knowledge, the trending disease segment where we currently have the COVID-19 updates, free first aid services, a symptom checker for diagnosis, and the find a chemist to be able to locate pharmacies nearby. The functionality includes three key segments, the user engagement part, which is the trivia knowledge segment, the free services, which are the trending disease and the first aid, and the paid services, which one needs to log in in order to access. Um, that we currently 87% of Kenyans can access the internet, while only 20% have guaranteed access to regular outpatient care. Therefore, we are targeting all individuals with internet access and people in need of medical information. Aha, money. Now let's talk business. Now, currently our business can be evaluated at 1,200 US dollars. This comes from a result of calculations from the hosting services, which are based on Azure credits that we've received, also the APIs and the idea of conceptualization, and of course, some labor that has gone into that particular work. Projectedly, we plan to have at $1,200. US dollars. This comes from a mark of 500 subscribers who pay at, at, at least $400. Uh, US dollars. We also have at least uh, 
10 uh, business partners who include pharmaceutical companies, for example, Maidawa, as well as the Ministry of Health. Now, what is the roadmap? Currently, we have a roadmap whereby we already have the idea of conceptualization. We have this one where that we ensure that the, app, the web app is working. We also have um, increasing disease database as well as incorporating medical personnel in our uh, solution. As well as now the next phase, of course, that is expanding this to other centers. For example, we ensure that we go to other countries, not only in Kenya. Now, the society, when the society is has knowledge, the society is enabled. Now, this empowerment can only come by us giving, of course, the knowledge that is on how to deal with, of course, various healthcare, uh, health uh, activities. Secondly, we also ensure that the community is able to achieve affordable health care. Remember, here at Mizizi, your health is our priority. Thank you. Everyone, we are Team Motion. Our goal is to ensure that health services are not only accessible, but also affordable to all. What problems will the Mobi Afia solve? Well, there are four serious problems that Mobi Afia will undoubtedly solve. Getting access to quality healthcare services is relatively expensive and unaffordable to majority of a population. High chance of misdiagnosis. Service is painfully slow slow emergency response services for example when you call 999 and you are put on hold meanwhile there is an emergency so what makes mobi afia the best solution to address these problems this app will allow all people to have access to health services anytime and anywhere but most importantly better health services at lower costs. With Mobi Afia, you can be diagnosed and you can also be connected to a caregiver who is essentially a doctor, a nurse, or a clinical officer. You are able to ask questions regarding the symptoms, complications, causes, and resources. With our SMS application, you can get access to medical contacts or medical service providers simply by typing help. We used Azure app services to host our web application, the SMS service offered by Africa's Talking, the Louis for Natural Language Processing, and the Microsoft Health Bot service that does the diagnosis. We wish to partner with our medical providers to improve the services of our application and make it available to more people. We wish to integrate our services with other platforms such as WhatsApp. This is a game changer. My name is Sharon Kerubo. When a patient cannot access healthcare services, it is impossible to receive medical care and achieve overall patient wellness. Despite this importance, patient access to healthcare facilities is not a reality. Tribal Health is an e health platform that focuses on providing healthcare services to users at their convenience. My name is Naomi. And I'm going to tell you how we're solving this problem. We want to enable online appointment and scheduling. We also enable you to be able to respond to emergency. And you can also chat with your doctor or have a video call. And this will all be a subsidized rate. You can also access our first aid and chat what kit. And you can also find a hospital near you and find a doctor. So what is the benefit of all this? Of course, the fact that you're scheduling appointment at your own convenience, this can be 
um, at work or in the office, you can be able to find specific specialists if you're looking for someone like a gynecologist, you can be able to access them through our app and you can be able to see exactly where you're located instead of manually having to look for them. You can also see through um, MPSA, which is accessible to everyone. You can find a hostel near you that's within your own radius and our emergency response uh, is enabled to quick dial. Our first aid kit involves a health checker, health advisor, a BMI calculator, what your plate constitutes of, and also a health board that was built using Azure Health Board and also includes our voice feature. So, so with the, we did the research on three main applications, my DAWA app, first aid app, and MTBA. My DAWA app is used to purchase medicine from where within the country, anywhere with where you are within the country, then we have first aid, which guides you on how to conduct first aid in case of an emergency. Then there was an empty bar app, which is used to seek medical services from some selected hospitals within the Kenya. So as you can see, our app is very innovative and effective. Thank you. My name is Isaac and I'll take you through our future plans. So what do we envision in the future? We envision um, worldwide feasibility. What does this mean? We mean that we, no we, we not only want to be viable in Kenya, we not only want to be present in Kenya, we want to be present in East Africa, we want to be present in Africa, and we also want to be present in the whole world, yeah? In such a way that anyone in any part of this world can use our app in their native language brings me to the second point, that's localization. So once we scale that much, we need everyone to be able to use this app. So the Afrikaners, the Swahili, the, the Britons, the Germans should be able to use our app. So we plan on having a local, localization feature that will enable them, <coughs> enable our app be present in their languages, yeah? Then we have patient history. We really need um, um, to know what a patient, what, what um, a particular patient's history is this will help us train more models that are user specific, that are specific to our particular users of our system so that they can be able to be refined and be able to give um, the detailed um, feedback on their particular health scenarios, as well as we can channel this to medical professionals who can be able to deduce some problems that might not be deduced by such machine learning um, inventions. Thank you. So my name is Ayan Kenan and I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about the business model. So as we know that we know that tribal health is also a profit making uh, business and it's also it's also set to provide for services as it has been mentioned. So for each for every company there must be a plan for a successful business operation and our business model um, comes about when we are when we identified when we identified the when we identified the source of revenue and the, our intended customer. So after after the user sets an appointment before consultation, they pay some consultation fee. And that is the only um, revenue we're getting from the users. So after that, we have decided to pay 90% to our third party partners, which include doctors, um, emergency responders, and many others. And then 10% of uh, the, the amount that is paid per appointment uh, or per emergency response goes back to tribal health. This this assures us of continuity and um, a continuous flow of revenue. Thank you so much. Nick James, a young hey. professional, he feels depression creeping in, but he cannot tell his family and friends because they'll see him as mentally weak. So he suffers silently and constantly contemplates suicide. Even if he gained courage, the nature of his work would not allow him to go to hospital. So he even goes to work when he's sick. Well, the story resonates to the life of many other individuals who suffer from mental disorders. According to Newsplex, one out of four Kenyans is likely to suffer from mental illness and 83% do not receive any treatment. Depressed people lose up to five hours of productive work, which annually costs one or one trillion shillings to the work industry. 
Globally, prevalence of self-medication is now over 67%, which has led to over 30% of the drug abuse and addiction cases, according to the World Health Organization. Our solution, Remedy, stands, which stands for Remote Doctor, offers a solution to these individuals. Confidentiality for individuals like James, remote consultation, drug delivery services, health alerts and information, and first aid tips. Remedy is a set of tools that allow real-time communication between pharmacists and you and patients. It is also a culture we are trying to build where medicine is easily accessible to everyone and anyone. Now, James can come to either of our platforms via an app or the USSD application. On the platform, he will select a service. In this case, he will select consultation or a specialty, in our case, mental health. He will then select a doctor. He will now start talking to a triage bot and feed it with as much as in information about what he's going through as possible, which will now send all that information as a summary to the doctor, who, as well as it creates a session automatically. The doctor will then reach back to James via Windows application, which is also the doctor's dashboard. We created a, a custom Azure bot service library to interact with Africa's talking SMS platform, as well as creating a Flutter library for consuming the Microsoft Direct Line API. We plan to open source all these amazing technologies we built in the near future. In partnership with Fika Foods, who've already accepted our partnership, and Soko Watch, we hope to reach medical practitioners and the general population who are our target market. We'll charge them 50 shillings per cent or 200 shillings per month on standard subscription and for the doctors a 10 percent charge on their consultation fees we hope to complete development do testing gain approval and licensing add prenatal and postnatal services and finally to gather enough data to improve the bot remd is all about inclusivity service innovation and integrity values which we believe are the foundations of the free world in which we live today it is sad that in this day and age we are still grappling with challenges of health, so much so that they have been enshrined in the SDGs. But as George Washington said, the harder the challenge, the greater the triumph. And for Remedy, our triumph will be Remedy being the hospital of the future. Thank you very much.